Okay. Welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification and give me a who's thumbs up. So today that was dots on the floor mending the bike. Um, progress. The uh, wood steamer. So we'll start with this. This is a water boiler converted to um, um, let's say make steam. So we got copper tank. We got a burner underneath. We've made a lip here. Put a brazed a new piece on all the way around so that should the lid will fit in because it's a copper tank and we split it off. Made a uh, four inch tube sleeves go up to the um, yeah, so another tube <laughs> it goes down to the end. Now, this is a 35mm where it will be inch and a half fitting, so we could just put pop on there. So, the plan is with this, we're going to fill it up with um, water. I think what we usually fill it up with then. <clears throat> And then I'll generate steam down the tube into this unit here, which what we've got, we've got two lengths of six metre ducting. And what we've done, I've uh, the collar there that'll join the two pieces together. Because some of the pieces on the ship, we've got um, 5.8 metres, which is uh, 6b3. And we've got 4.8 meters, uh, 6b3, and we've got some 9b3 as well to uh, steam. So that's all the way up. Have you mended your bike yet, Doc? No, I'm going to go take it in there so I can charge it up, see if that works. Oh. So, made some structures, some framework here out of Union Strut. Come on, Doc. Some more frame to sit it on. So we can take this to pieces, the whole lot, uh, and transport it to Whitby. Because uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be steam bending it onto the boat. Um, so we need to be able to move this quite easily. Made it into three metre sections. Um, so like I said, some of the wood is uh, 5.8 and 4.8, which I'm going to need, need that section for. But the majority of the wood is uh, off the top of my head, 2.8. I've got some 3.2, but uh, I could do that a big one. But the majority is 2.8, 2.4, uh, 1.6. The, uh, the front one that has got the most bend in it is only about 1.8. So, but we're still going to have to steam a piece of 3 metres for that. So anyway, getting on to what I've done here. Drilled holes in it. And uh, inserted stainless steel now i was going to use zinc plated uh, threaded bar but what i thought to myself after i don't know three or four days of steaming or even a day of steaming probably um, i'm going to get rust now we're doing a natural finish on on uh, helen witchley um so what we don't want to do is have rust marks from where it's been sat steaming for six hours on the wood because we don't want to be covering it so anyway a bit of wire around here really tight you can't you can't, you can't, you can't move it and that really secures stainless steel bars and if we have a look inside you can see that's what i've done all the way down at 50 centimetre intervals um, goes all the way through six metres. So hopefully that should be sufficient with underneath as well for drainage. Now I have, you ain't gonna see on the camera that it does fall down. So what I need to do is uh, inlet there for this pipe so I've got to be able to feed that so I'm going to get into there and then what I need to do is put a drain underneath on that one because I'm only using a three metre length 
I need a drain tap and I need a cap end for that. I need a cap end for that. And what I'm going to do down the bottom of here is, as you can see, that's the, that's the other way. Is it broke? Yeah. Why is it broke? It's fully charged. It's fully charged. Have you put your meter on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's it say? Yeah. So I'm going to put a drain hole on the bottom and then you can drain the water out uh, and recirculate it. I'll put a little pump on it and then we can pump it back up to the main uh, boiling tank. I mean, steam generator. Uh, I do like to call it Big Bertha. Um, and it can tell many, many stories that can. But for this application, it will be producing steam. So stay tuned, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to wrap it into insulation because I've got to keep the heat in. Insulate it, wrap it in plastic and then uh, that should be the steamer done. So get ready for the next little episode of how to put insulation on all that. See you later. Don't forget, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, give us a huge thumbs up because it all helps. See you later.